Hey, it's Anuj from AndroidRoots.com. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at Alliance ROM for the Galaxy S5. And yes, I'm going to go ahead and start doing Galaxy S5 ROM of the Week videos now since I got the other rooting guides to unrooting guides for the Galaxy S5 out of the way. Um, so Alliance ROM for the Galaxy S5, as you can see I have in my hand, is available for the SM900F, the SM900i, and the SM900T. The T is for T-Mobile, and the F and the I are international variants. I believe the F is European and the I is Asia. Um, I could be wrong about that, but it's an international one, and I'll clarify that in the article I, uh, I'll link down below as well. Um, and the link down below is also where you can go ahead and download this ROM for the Galaxy S5. Um, and I'm currently using this as my daily driver. Um, it is based off of TouchWiz, if you guys can't tell, um, since there is no Synergy Mod ROM or really anything like that currently out on the market as of now. Once it does become available, I'll definitely be doing a ROM, of that, ROM review of that. Um, so anyway, under settings, under personalization, as you can see, this is where you do all your settings settings and customization under here under Alliance ROM and then we'll go ahead and start off doing colors and currently I have everything set to white um, so if I go ahead and tap on linked colors you can go ahead and pick and choose what you want to be linked you can choose all of it none of it some of it uh, really whatever you want to choose and then under here under linked theme color you can go ahead and change the color of it uh, so currently I have it set to white um, I think white looks the best in my personal preference um, but you can go ahead and choose uh, maybe red and now it's set to red, and now if we go ahead and, as you can see, it is all red. A little bit hard to read, um, person in my personal preference. Um, we can go ahead and choose something like green, like Samsung's usual look, which looks ugly. I, I really think it looks ugly. Um, I have no idea why they're obsessed with that, but, um, you know, they are. Um, but as you can see, some of these uh, icons right here, like, okay, so now it finally changed. So now it finally changed. Um, you may have seen that. Um, it used to be white. Now the um, per, uh, battery percentage finally changed to green. Uh, so some of this sometimes lags behind or some of this won't ever change until you restart it. Um, so if you want to make sure everything is uh, properly uh, linked up and the color is the one you want it to be, make sure you do a reboot after it uh, to make sure it does it properly. Um, so as you, as you can see, the, uh, the percentage right there is sticking while everything else is white and the clock is sticking to green as well. So you may want to do a reboot to fix that. Um, you can also go ahead and do unlinked colors and also backgrounds. And you can do color of the day where it goes ahead and chooses a new color each day. Um, if you can go ahead and choose that. Um, under status bar right here, we can go ahead and uh, mess around with a little bit over here. Uh, so notification panel, you can go ahead and choose some of these on or off. Uh, a couple things I went ahead and turned off was hide the S finder bar. I find it really annoying. Um, so the S finder bar right here, if you go ahead and turn it on right here, it's gone now. We'll give it a few seconds. It has to load. Um, so it, it lags the first time if you make new settings. Uh, but now as you can see the S finder bar is gone. Uh, I have CPU usage on too. So um, it's nice to know uh, what CPU and what percentage is being used. Um, if you're web browsing, watching a video, you can see uh, the CPU usage or if you're gaming and all that. Um, it's just nice to know, you know, you can obviously just remove it if you don't really use it. Um, I just like it. I like stats, <laughs> especially on my phone. Um, so you got toggle options, status bar options too. So you can choose your battery. Um, so you can update takes minutes. Um, so, you can, so you can go ahead and change this. So you can change it to, let's say, Sinojimada. And um, it, it should be changing. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and change it to like Honeycomb. Um, it may require a reboot, um, possibly. Um, you know, some of the, some of these things do require a reboot or you have to wait a few extra seconds to make it change. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, also, power menu, this is just your basic power. You hold down the uh, power button and then you have all these menu buttons. Um, so I went ahead and uh, selected restart, power off, and data toggle. Um, if I'm going to go ahead and maybe, let's say, remove restart, uncheck it, and then restart is gone. Uh, tap it on and it's back on there. Uh, you also have uh, general mods. Um, let's go ahead and I, this is where you get the cool list of view animations. So if we go ahead and tap it on system mods right here and do uh, list of view right here. You can go ahead and change a lot. So currently I have it on, uh, set on wave left. I can do uh, stack top. Now if we go ahead and back out of all this, if I go and scroll down as you can see it does this uh, stack top. Um, it kind of does lag a little bit. Uh, it can be annoying. So you may want to find the correct transition, list of view transition, uh, so it doesn't annoy you too much. Uh, but it's pretty cool. And they have a ton of them for you to choose to find that perfect one. Um, so let's go ahead and go back into Alliance ROM. And we can go ahead and go 
And, um, you know, yeah, I was trying this earlier, at least a week, at least a week ahead, because I've had this uh, custom ROM for about a week. Um, I tried Alliance ROM, but it's not really working. If I tap on it, it crashes. Um, so that could have been an issue with just T-Mobile variants. Not a lot of other people are, are um, saying they have this problem. So it could just be me. I even unrooted it, went back to stock and tried it, and I still had that problem. Um, so you just want to be aware of that. It's not a crucial thing. It's just backing up and restoring the theme and the settings. So it's nothing to be uh, concerned about as long as you're not going to restart your, you know, restore your phone, then install the custom ROM again. Um, it's not a big deal. I wouldn't even be using it, uh, even if it was working. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. That is Alliance ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S5 SM900S. F, <laughs> SM900F, SM900i, and SM900T, also for the T-Mobile variant, F and I. Um, and if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom fan corner right there. Remember guys, I'm going to be having weekly Galaxy S5 ROM reviews for you guys, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, Plus, which will also be located down below in the video description, along with the link to download this ROM for the Galaxy S5. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.